In this video, we are going to discuss about primary memory. But first, let's see what memory is. Memory is required to store data and instructions. Physically, the data is stored as one bit at a time. But logically, it is grouped together as a word, a group of 4 bytes or 8 bytes and given a logical memory address. Data and instructions that are stored in the memory are, ad are accessed through this memory address itself. Speed with which these memory addresses can be accessed will determine the cost of the memory. If it can be accessed very fast, then that type of memory will be more expensive. If the access speed is slow, then it will be cheaper. Memory is of two types, primary and secondary. Let's look at the characteristics of the primary memory. It can be accessed directly by the processor. It is the fastest memory available. Time to store or retrieve a word is independent of the address. So if you have say uh, to simplify matter, if I am just showing you a piece of paper on which the data is being stored. So whether it is stored at the at one end or at the end of the queue, the time to access the, both the bits of data would be the same. It is volatile. RAM is volatile. What does that mean? That means that the moment I switch off the power, whatever data or instructions are stored there will be erased. However, it is still the most important part of computer memory because it is the fastest. And remember, and hence the most expensive as well. In the next video, we are going to cover the types of primary memory.